Hey there, I'm out in the shop um, digging around with some Chevrolet inline 230, 250, and 292 uh, intake manifolds. I think they're also uh, look like this for the 194. So this is an early Chevy engine, 1960s. Uh, I think they came out in 63, and uh, they eventually moved to a um, integrated head with the manifold, but these are the non-integrated intake manifolds. On the bottom side of the uh, of the intake manifold, where the exhaust manifold bolts to this with a gasket, there are four passages. One, two, three, four. And if you dig around in that old manifold, you'll find lots of carbon in there. And that carbon is exhaust carbon that has built up in these passages. Well, what you need to do is clean it all out and get it really clean because these passages, all four of them, communicate one with another to the adjacent one. And if we come up here to, to the top side of it, they will actually communicate along this upper plate in a circle around this to heat the intake. Now, this one here has been cleaned by me, and what a difference. Um, I could pass a string from this hole to this hole, that one to that one, that one to that one, and that one to that one. Of course, not diagonally, but what a difference. It used to look like this. In fact, the carbon was rock hard inside. So make sure you take time, clean that out. Your engine will warm up faster, will probably perform better, get better fuel economy. Just something to pay attention to when you're uh, rebuilding these engines and uh, doing some maintenance.